What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to take an in-depth look at the Necrochasm Auto Rifle. Now the Necrochasm is the final evolved form of the Husk of the Pit. Now the Husk of the Pit is a weapon you may obtain by killing a blade of Crota. Uh, once you've actually got the Husk of the Pit you need to kill a certain amount of Hive enemies. You then need to get an unbalming orb from Eris Morn, apply that to the Husk of the Pit. It will then evolve into the legendary auto rifle, the Eidolon Ally. You need to then fully upgrade the Eidolon Ally, take part in the hard mode of the Crota's End Raid, defeat Crota and hopefully you will obtain the Crux of Crota. You then need to apply the Crux of Crota to the Eidolon Ally and it will evolve into the exotic Necrochasm. Now we're going to take a look at its stats and mods. Now as we know the Necrochasm is an arc damage 339 attack, highest in the game at the moment, also a rifle. As standard it's got cascade and arc damage as we know. It's got accurized ballistics, uh, CQB ballistics and aggressive ballistics. For me I stick with, well I go with the uh, CQB ballistics. We then have Cursebringer. Precision kills with this weapon frequently trigger a curse fraud explosion, which actually is badass in PvE, and I'll demonstrate that for you guys on screen now. We then have uh, one of five damage upgrades. We have single point sling, switch weapons faster, move quick while aiming. We have flared magua, we will reload this weapon even faster. And we have fit stock, increases weapon stability. I go with fit stock as this weapon needs all the stability it can get. We then have range finder, aiming this weapon increases its effective range. And we have a further four damage upgrades. Now, now this is obviously a high rate of fire, low impact weapon. And getting into its rate of fire, it shoots 15 bullets per second meaning it will shoot 900 rounds per minute it will empty its entire clip in 2.23 seconds pvp damage this bad boy does 11 to the body and 13 to the head damage per second is 165 to the body and 195 to the head maximum clip damage this thing can dish out is 546 reload speed is a standard 1.28 seconds now this weapon's stability as we all know with these high fire rate weapons it's all over the place i'm just going to aim down sight now and let rip and you'll see it just drifts off to the left not as bad as some weapons in this game though but it is unpredictable you'll see it go left and it will just raise and it's like it is really unpredictable but it is actually really easy to control you can see on screen now me basically holding this thing dead center it's actually quite easy to do this as well while being shot surprisingly actually now i used this for about three or four games in pvp at first um i wasn't quite feeling it i mean i ain't a massive fan of high fire rate low impact weapons but after about the second game in i was actually slowly getting well getting to grips with this weapon and actually overall liked it i'm not gonna lie to you guys now there's been a lot of negativity around this weapon a lot of people were expecting something like the vex uh, which you got from the vault glass which is an absolutely flipping animal of a weapon as we all know a lot of people were thinking the necrochasm was going to be on the same sort of level i on the other hand wasn't really getting my hopes up for this weapon and um, when they mentioned that it had 900 rounds per minute it's going to be a high fire rate low impact weapon i knew the way it was going to be i just knew it was going to be the weapon could do with a slight damage buff maybe an increased clip size um, and this weapon would be an animal it will be the weapon it deserves to be i mean we had this discussion with the vex quite a while back the Vex was actually nerfed at first and they, a lot of people complained about it not being a weapon it's supposed to be. This, and the, and basically it's the same thing, a lot of people are complaining that this weapon isn't the weapon it should be. It should be a better weapon than what it is and I will even agree with that. But I do disagree with a lot of people that are saying this is the worst exotic in the game. This is by far not the worst exotic in the game. I'd take this way over the Universal Remote, way over the Nolan Beyond. I'd probably even take it over the Hard Light as well. I just think it's a better weapon all round. Yes, maybe it is a novelty weapon at this moment, at this precise moment in time. But if you have this weapon, make sure you keep it because I can guarantee you guys that Bungie will eventually buff this weapon to make it perform better. I can just guarantee that. Now, I used it in PvP, like I said. 
I did like it, I did enjoy using it, I mean it, it won't be my first pick for PvP and it won't be my first pick for PvE, but it by damn sure won't be my last pick. And there's a little bit of PvP footage in the background now for you guys to see. You'll probably get the gist of this weapon and how it performs in PvP. Ain't the best for sure, but it is better than a lot of the high fire rate low impact weapons I've used in the past. But guys, I hope you enjoyed my review, I'll give you my honest opinion on it. In my opinion, it isn't as bad as a lot of people are making out it is, but it is by far from the best weapon in the game. Yes, it deserves to be better. Yes, it should be better, and I think eventually it will be better. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do drop a like or do a Parishi 8 to support. Thanks as always, though, for stopping by, and peace out until next time. Peace! Zone B secure.